Scatter plots. <laughs> that is the only thing that is going to stay in your brain. Love scatter scatter plot. I'm just thinking of my scatter plot that says there's no relationship <laughs> Sorry, between those two. Also, things. what is a scatter plot? I, oh, so a scatter plot sounds like like a weird vegetable thing where you plant a cabbage next to a different lots of different that's what i'm imagining it could oh, yeah. be that scatter yeah. plot it's basically you know when you were at school you did like lines of best fit where you'd have lots of dots on a graph you've already sure. lost him yeah. okay <laughs> what school did you go to gcse maths <laughs> but it's basically where you observe a bunch of things so in our case you've got percentage of spend and roi for example you plot them uh, for each brand or each observation you put a dot on a chart mm. and then you'll end up with a chart full of lots of dots all over the place and then what you tend to use it for is then if the dots are clustering together, you can draw a line through them. You can say there's a relationship between the two things, or if they're scattered all over the place, then you can kind of go, these two things aren't related to each other. So yep. if you were doing temperature versus ice cream sales, you'd find all your dots would line up because the days that it's warmer, you'll sell more ice cream. Whereas but in this influencer case, if you do percentage of spend versus ROI, you don't find there's a pattern. 